Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to do a short little video just kind of explaining to you guys uh, why I've been using my my rollers uh, for my indoor training as opposed to using my Wahoo Kicker Power Trainer, which I also have. Um, it really boils down to a couple of key reasons. Um, now, I have the E-Motion rollers by a company uh, called Inside Ride. Um, I'll leave a I'll leave a link to their website uh, down here in the uh, in the description of the show and then in the narrative portion. I'll leave a link to their website. Um, I've had these E-Motion rollers now for I think I've had them at least at least five years. I think it's been like five or six years I've had them. And I've had to replace one belt so far. Um, so, and I've got thousands of miles on these on these rollers. Only had to replace the belt one time. So, like literally, I think it's like a twelve dollar belt. So, for twelve dollars of maintenance fees, you know, for parts, I've gotten thousands and thousands of miles out of these rollers. And a couple of reasons why I like the E Motion rollers is they're on a boom rack, which basically what that means is. When you're riding your bike on, on the rollers, basically the rollers are on a on a frame and and they're going back and forth as you're putting you know effort and momentum into the bicycle. The rollers are actually shifting back and forth. And it, it just offers a really, you know, premium, you know, road feel experience. Um, I mean the, the, the kicker's good too. I like the kicker. It does have you know, probably as good a road feel as you can get from a stationary static trainer, but I don't think it. I don't think it's on the level of the of, of of the rollers. I mean, to me, the rollers just give give me anyways the best. Uh, you know, just outdoor feel experience uh, that you can get while indoor training. So that's one of the reasons why I like the Emotion rollers, is they're just they're really good at simulating, you know, outdoor riding. You're on your bicycle. You know, you're not hooked to anything. You're basically on your bike, you know, riding just as if you were outside riding. And, you know, some people talk about, well, I, I can't ride, you know, the trainer any longer than an hour because it's boring. And, you know, I mean, listen, that's never going to change. I mean, you have to, you have to, you know, find your ways to, you know, get around that myself. I listen to music. I, uh, I, I use Zwift or Trainer Road, you know. That seems to help pass the time a little longer. I watch my sports games. Uh, right now I'm watching some college football here at home. Um, so I'll throw on a, a, a football game or just you know, some sports, uh, a good TV show, anything I want to watch. And when it comes to indoor, indoor training, it just it boils down to having the mental discipline to get through your training. So, you know, to me, the whole, well, it's too boring to ride inside thing, it's not an issue for me. I actually like the indoor trainer. And one of the reasons why I like training indoors is because I know that I'm getting a premium training. I'm getting premium training quality. In my opinion, I mean, outdoor riding is great and, and you can do some great things outdoors. But when it comes to hitting targeted intervals or just, you know, real precise power training, you cannot beat indoor training. I'm a big fan. Have to be living in northern New York. I mean, we're coming into fall here now. Um, but soon it's going to be winter here and I'm going to be basically forced to ride indoors for like, well, I mean, I'm pretty much forced to ride indoors basically like at least like four months out of the year. I just physically cannot get outdoors and ride because of deep snow or, you know, insanely cold temperatures where it's just honestly physically not possible to train outdoors. So I have to train inside, you know, a lot of times and... I want to have a good setup, the best setup for that. And again, for me, these E-Motion rollers are awesome. Um, could, but again, main reasons why I've been using them is, like I said, road feel, outdoor road feel. Hands down cannot be matched on these rollers, in my opinion. Um, the, you know, the fact that you're on your bike, riding freely as though you were outdoors. And the E-Motion rollers have actually got that, that, that belt I was telling you about. There's actually um, a little magnetic unit on the bike. So basically you can adjust the magnet uh, in three different positions. And how and depending on how you have that magnet positioned, it's going to offer a different level of resistance onto the, onto, the, uh, onto the drums that you're riding on. And... You know, I'm using my, obviously I'm using my PowerTap P1s on the bike 
And honestly, guys, a lot of guys complain that, well, I, I don't like the rollers because they're too easy to, like, spin out on. I tell you what, these emotion rollers are not that way. I actually never even ride them past the second setting, okay, it, it, past the second magnet setting because it, 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 it'll completely max me out on power. I mean, I can complete, I, I can do five, six, seven hundred watt sprints on these rollers on just a second magnet, you know, magnet setting. So when you have the magnet setting plus your gear ratios, it offers all the resistance I need and then some. I, I, I There's no way I can max out these rollers. Um, so they're good in that regard. The magnetic resistance unit, it works really good on them also. Um, and again, just the, the generalized feel I can get out of the saddle. When I'm on these rollers, I can do long out of the saddle intervals. Um, now, another thing you hear a lot of is, well, the rollers are too hard to get used to. I mean... Honestly, they are, you have to spend some time on them. I'm not, not going to lie to you. When I first started riding my rollers, I, I fell over uh, several times. I literally fell right over because you're, you know, I'm, I got my clipless pedals. I'm clipped into the bicycle. And if you lose your balance, there's a good chance you're going to fall over on your side and potentially hurt yourself or even break your bike, honestly. Um, I have fallen over several times on these rollers, but it was more when I was first getting them and you know when I first got them when I was just getting used to them now I can ride for hours and hours and hours and really don't have any issue with that um, the rollers are really good at helping you um, increase your bike handling skills and your balance because you do I mean they you know until you get really used to them it is a little bit tricky to balance on them but that's a good thing because it's forcing you it's forcing your body it's forcing your core to stabilize and it's, it's forcing you it, it basically forces you the whole time you're riding it forces you to work on your balance and your handling skills another big benefit of rollers that you can't get an indoor trainer is that you are working on you know neuromuscular you know balancing skills that you cannot duplicate in fact you can't even hardly duplicate that in the road a lot of times so the rollers are good in that regard forces you to work on your balance and your handling skills I think my handling skills have really improved, you know, now that I'm a serious roller rider. So they're good in that regard. Like I said, out of the saddle efforts are great. You know, you can get, I can get out of the saddle. I can, you know, do hard out of the saddle efforts. I'm not, you know, st my bike isn't stuck in a static position on a trainer. Anybody who's ridden a trainer, you know what I'm talking about. When you try getting out of the saddle on a static trainer, it just doesn't feel natural. It doesn't, you can't get a rhythm. I don't like it. The rollers are perfect for out of the saddle work, uh, so they're good in that regard. And you know, they're just they're good all around. I mean, I really can't think of a negative of of the rollers. I've pretty much been using them exclusively for my indoor training. Um, I do have my okay, I I like my kicker, and I will I will I like it. I use it. I'm probably going to use it more uh, moving forward, you know, maybe at races for warm-up, stuff like that. It's a little bit more transportable than the rollers because the rollers are this big, you know, you know, five-foot-long, you know, rectangular rack, you know, that you have to, you know, cart around. Um, so the trainer is good for, you know, uh, travel-type stuff. But for indoor training at your home, you know, or an office place where you've got a, 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 a continuous setup, these rollers are hard to beat. Like I said, I've got the E-Motion rollers um, from Inside Ride. Had them several years now. Got literally, you know, thousands of miles on them. No issues. They work really good. Um, so I guess, you know, that's, like I said, I just wanted to make a short video for you guys explaining to you a little bit about why I like the rollers so much. Um, some of you guys have been asking me some questions here on the channel you know, or making some comments about, you know, the rollers, why I like the rollers or this and that. So that's my reasoning for it. Um, once you get used to them and, and once you really, you know, get comfortable with them, tell you what, guys, they're hard to beat in my opinion. Um, I look forward to riding them. In fact, I'll be riding them later on today. It's, uh, it's raining here today uh, where I live. And if I have my choice between going outside and dealing with, you know, 50-degree rainy weather, or hitting my rollers for a few hours, I'm hitting the rollers. I can arguably get a better workout 
than I could outdoors, dry, get to, you know, watch a sports game. You know, a lot of college football on today. I'd be watching some college football. So, so there you have it, guys. A couple of reasons why I like the rollers, uh, more specifically the E-Motion rollers from Inside Ride. I hope you guys found this video informative. I appreciate all the support in the channel. And, of course, guys, I look forward to seeing you right back here in my next video.